So we're going to look at how we're going to go about uh, 3D printing our own NFC ring. Now, um, quick disclaimer before we get started. RF and metals are not friends. Well, they kind of are, but they're like arch nemesis is really. Um, essentially, the 3D printing that we're going to support is basically ABS, PLA and other plastics and non uh, not non-metal based stuff so if you think about doing bronze then you're gonna have some issues with this and the reason for that is that the 2016 inlays are tuned 13.5 meg 6 megahertz to air which means we don't have any kind of the, the original absorber material that we had in the first rings um, so if you're working with ceramics you'll be fine but if you're working with silvers you won't okay so just uh, just get that out of the way um, we can start by uh, looking at the actual new inlay so the new inlay is 20 mil wide by 6 mil high by two, uh, 0.2 mil deep so it's very very slim let's uh, let's bring it up on the old microscope okay so there you go it's on a pound coin here um so there we go have a look at that so it gives you a good idea of, of how small it is uh, my finger and nail coming in there coming in coming in coming in coming in, coming in so small okay um, and so what we need to do is we need to be able to create a shape for that in a modeling piece of software now you probably use your own modeling software but what we're going to do now is i'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to create one uh, i'm going to use tinkercad uh, i'm going to create one that's about mm, 28 mil uh, by so we know that it's um we know that it's six mil wide, so let's create a ring that's eight mil wide, which gives us a mil either side. So inside of this, I'm gonna put a container about there. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay, make sure that we cover the whole thing. This just one, no, two bigger and now what we need to do is we need to create a band that's six mil so six mil bring this up looks about right might be slightly off but this is just for the purposes of demonstrations and now what we need to do is get rid of this kind of whole center section because we don't want to chop out the center section okay looks good bring this down and then I'm gonna make this section a hole. I'm going to make this section and that section group together so that'll create this band. Then I'm going to make this section a hole. Create these two objects, group them together. There you go. So what we've got there, it's slightly off. What we can do, let's just control Z that. Bring it up by a mil. Ah, yeah, you can see we were we were out by one mil. Bring that down by a mil. Now we're going to have to do 0.5s. Uh, it looks slightly out. Let's do quite two five. Okay, now we've got these two shapes. Just going to group them together. And what you've got now is a, a shape with a um, groove in the middle. Now I'm putting, making it black didn't make it easier to see at all. Was, there we go, blue. Right, you've got this shape now with a cutout groove in the middle where you'd place an inlay. Now obviously you can do whatever funky design on there. You can put some some text on there you i mean you're probably going to be if you're familiar with 3d printing you're going to be using your own modeling software anyway but the kind of the purpose of this video is just to show you how a very very basic design can be knocked up in kind of 30 seconds to a minute and then you just send this off to print right so with tinkercad for example i can then send that off to a third party to print and it probably cost a couple of dollars and then when it came what you do is you put the inlay in say here on this curved surface and then you put whatever material you wanted around it. So I've seen people actually do some pretty cool designs with, they'll put the inlay in and just kind of dab it in with a touch of super glue. And then to make the ring waterproof, they'll either coat it with like an enamel. So you could use um, a nail varnish <laughs> and stuff like that. Or you could use stuff like rubber bands and literally just tie a load of rubber bands around the ring, which would kind of give it an interesting look. Um, there's loads that can be done and that's kind of where we're trying to encourage um, the maker and com uh, create a community um, by giving them access to these inlays so that they can go off and build whatever they want. It doesn't have to be a ring, it can be a bracelet, it can be a, an earring, 
But just be mindful that the 2013 inlays did work on metal, but were a lot thicker and had shorter read, uh, not read, uh, distance between how they could communicate. And the uh, new inlays don't work on metal, but have a much longer read range. So there you have it. That's uh, 3D printing your own NFC ring. Uh, if there's any questions, then get in touch. Uh, if not, then stay frosty, my friends.